As part of Mental Health Awareness Week, we recently gave a webcast to Tesco employees on how to be financially healthier and happier on any income. Attendees were also able to ask me questions, and in this short video, I'll share with you some of those and my answers. You need to know when you want to start drawing your pension income and how much income you'll need. The calculator below this video from the Money and Pensions Advice Service can help you work out how much you need to have saved to meet your target retirement income by the age you want to retire. Each person will face different challenges depending on their personal circumstances. The economic outlook is clearly uncertain and that will have an impact on employment security and opportunities, the housing market, mental and physical health, and business confidence, among others. Things that people could consider to protect their financial well-being at this time are the same as they've ever been. Control spending so that you keep regular living expenses manageable and allow scope for savings or debt reduction, including when lockdown is eventually relaxed and the opportunities to spend increase. See if you can refinance any existing debt or mortgage with a cheaper deal while your financial circumstances are good. Work to build and maintain an emergency fund of between £1,000 to as much as 12 months essential living costs. Invest in improving your skills and experience so that you can remain highly employable and able to command a fair income. And avoid taking on new significant fixed regular expenses if you're unsure about the security of your household income. And make sure that you have a valid and up-to-date will and that you've given your pension scheme a nomination for who you'd wish to receive any death benefits. And finally, make sure that you have the right insurances on your income and your life. It depends on your overall circumstances and essential you expenses. But under the future you in our smart spending system, I suggest somewhere between 10 to 25% of your net income be used to repay non-mortgage debt short-term savings, and longer-term investing, including via a pension plan. A regulated financial advisor can give you personalized advice based on your circumstances. Below this video, you can find our smart spending system and budget planner to help you. Children learn by example, so be a good role model by displaying healthy and positive money behaviors in your day-to-day -day money habits and decisions. Look for opportunities to talk to your children about money-related issues in a positive and constructive way. For example, depending on the age of your children, you might involve them in planning the family annual holiday. This could be agreeing how much you will spend, agreeing what the family is looking for in a holiday, the pros and cons of different holidays, including the cost, and identify how much, if any, the family still needs to save to fund the holiday. But one of the most powerful things you can do is make your children feel secure and minimize their exposure to marketing messages, so they're less likely to feel the need to spend money on stuff they don't need. And when you do see marketing messages, when you're with your children, make a point of talking to them about how the advertiser's interests might not coincide with your or their best interests. The two websites below this video provide resources to help parents and grandparents teach children about money. Now, I'm not able to provide personal financial advice, but I will give you some general pointers about pensions, investments, and savings. Remember that a pension is not an investment. It's a tax-favored account for retirement savings, which you can invest in a range of investments from cash to bonds and company shares and property funds. Interest is paid on savings, and the reason rates are low is because your capital is secure, although, of course, it will be devalued by the effects of inflation each year. Dividends and earnings growth is the return you receive on investments like company shares, but your capital is not guaranteed and it will go up and down in value, sometimes quite a lot as we've seen recently. Savings accounts are best used for money that you have earmarked for either your emergency reserve or a short-term goal like a deposit for a house rental or purchase where you can't cope with any short-term fluctuations in value. Share-based investment funds are more suited for money that's earmarked for very long-term needs, like funding your living costs when you stop working, because you have time to ride out any temporary, but sometimes very severe, falls in value. 
If in any doubt about your own situation, you should take personal advice from a regulated financial advisor. You can learn about the basics of investing from the websites listed below this video from some of the major investment fund providers. It always makes sense to pay off as quickly as possible the card that has the highest interest rate. However, you might want to see if you can also replace either or both of the cards with either a zero interest card, although remember that even these cards charge a balance transfer fee initially, or a lower cost loan from salary finance or another lender. Now, the snowball debt repayment method might also help you tackle unsecured debt by doing three things. One, make a list of what debts you have in size order from smallest to largest, excluding your mortgage if you have one. Secondly, make a plan to repay your debt starting with the bulk of your monthly repayments directed to the smallest debt. And thirdly, make the minimum repayments on all the other debts to avoid any late interest fees or penalties. By starting small, you'll be able to make progress quickly, which will help you take back control and also feel confident about your ability to tackle the larger debts, which can feel sometimes overwhelming. So there you have it, some of our answers to questions that Tesco staff have asked us. Remember, there are no silly questions when it comes to money. And if you want us to answer your own money-related questions, do email us at the email address below this video.